So here we are at St John's. It's a day before the proclamation of the Lord of Man takes place, as is the tradition. Last time, seen here in 1952, as you can see, lots and lots of flowers have been left by the general public ahead of the event. Today is very special because they're getting everything ready for this extra event. Um, there will be a televisation of it, I believe. There will be some uh, TV coverage, but uh, there's no big screen. Of course, it's not a public holiday as such. And uh, really, it's going to be more like a COVID event. We just remember back when we didn't have many people here at all. It was a very strange affair. No grandstands up, but I believe a choir is going to be playing. As you can see, the main flag there on the mound is just a little bit off the full size from where at the top, because obviously there's going to be the marquee on stand will be here for tomorrow. Uh, and then there's a bit of dilemma talking to people behind the scenes who uh, obviously were still kind of figuring out because the proclamation should see the flags go fully up and then come back down again in mourning for the Queen ahead of events on Monday. But uh, at the moment, no other flags have been put up here. Um, the public are invited to attend tomorrow and uh, lay some more flowers on this area. It's good to see while we're talking here to see some of the messages that have been left by people. Um, it, it's just been an amazing outpouring of love, of course, for the Lord of Man. And uh, now Charles will be taking over. Uh, there's obviously great expectations that uh, it's hoped that he'll be here to actually perform the tunnel ceremony uh, on the 5th of July uh, in not too distant future, when he obviously can be welcomed by people in the Isle of Man. Weather for, Saturday, for Friday sorry, is actually looking OK. Um, it looks like it's going to be fairly sunny, but some strong winds around, which is never good when you've got the marquee there, but um, all the dignitaries will be there as usual. Um, there'll be a, a, a church service on stand also taking place. Really, obviously, what we're missing is any people coming up to give their petitions over, and there won't be any of these sort of special guests that will normally be here for a full tumult. But uh, as I said, this hasn't taken place since 1952, so uh, this is the moment when the Isle of Man proclaims King Charles III as Lord of Man and we'll be back here tomorrow to watch the proceedings take place.